Welcome back guys, this is David Kim and I'm bringing you another Code Wars first look video. First look is when I haven't seen the problem before and we work on it together for the first time. That way you get to see how my brain works uh, when given a problem that's completely new. Um, I'm going to throw a card up on the video. If you want to check out other um, first look videos, that will link to that playlist. At the end, I'll throw in another card for other level 7 problems. Um, I, for, for now, I have level 7, 6, and 5. Um, I'm trying to fill those playlists up with at least 10 videos each. Uh, I probably won't go to the higher levels just because uh, they take much longer for me. And at that point, it'll probably be uh, more useful if I had solved the problem before and just do a tutorial kind of like instructional video versus a first look. Um, cool, so let's get to this guy. This is called Sum of Odd Numbers. And given the triangle of consecutive odd numbers, calculate the sum uh, calculate the row sums of this triangle from the row index starting at index 1. Okay, index 1. Do they mean 1? Oh, wait, starting at index 1. So are these arrays? Um, let's see. Row sum odd numbers. Okay, so 1 is they're giving us that. 2 is they're giving us that. All right. Um, oh, okay, so this whole pyramid is just odd numbers kind of stacked like that and so I'm pretty sure there's some kind of trick to knowing what number starts at the pyramid and so let's see the first is just a 1 the second is a 3 the third is a 7 the fourth is a 13 fifth is a 21 and so 1 3 7 13 21 is there a pattern there um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But that that is the key to it probably because otherwise this level seven problem seems very much uh, a lot harder than it than other, it is. And uh, looking, seeing how we don't have to regard the previous uh, rings in the pyramid. Yes, there must be a way to know that, and so. Let's think about this for a second. One is one, of course. Three, we have a two. Okay, so this is the second level, and it starts with a three. So two and three, maybe that that kind of works there somehow. Three and seven, okay. It's about four and thirteen. Four times three, okay. Now that's close to thirteen. Um, five and four, oh, okay. And so I bet you, uh, this is the first row. Um, okay, I'm thinking this. Take the second row, or the first row, times 1. And then uh, second row, 2. But we don't, we're, we're assuming we don't have these numbers, so we can't do that. Um, Okay, 0 and 1, 2, and the second row, 2. And how are we supposed to know if we have that? Okay, at least we know that the rows equal the amount of odd numbers there is. So the second, there's going to be 2. The third, there's going to be 3 odd numbers. The fourth, there's going to be 4 odd numbers. Now, how do we know which odd number it is? Um, well, it's not that hard to guess, I guess, because um, if it is the, the second row, 2 times 2, or if we pretty much if we squared that, that's 4. 3 times 3, that's 9. 4 times 4, that's 16. Um, four, 5 times 5, that's 21. And uh, a pattern I'm seeing here is <clears throat> you minus the the row or the the index of it pretty much if it was in an array, and so two times two, and this is a this is when I hope or wish I had a whiteboard, um, or I wish this was a whiteboard in video. But two times two, uh, we pretty much square that. That's four minus um, the index minus 
the index or uh, or the row minus one, and that's going to give us an error. I just wanted it to be there for reference. Um, now let's take this for example. That is the one, two, three, four, five. Uh, five times five, which is going to be twenty-five, minus the row, which was the fifth row, right? One, two, three, four, five. That was the fifth row. Um, minus one. So fifth row minus one. That's four minus uh, twenty-five minus that is twenty-one. That's where we start. And uh, the next one is going to be a thirty-one, right? Thirty-one is our next digit, and it's going to be our sixth row. So let's do six times six. That's going to be 36, and it was the 6th row minus 1, so that's 5. 36 minus 5, that is going to be 31. And that is exactly our first digit. That's how we're going to know the first digit. Um, cool. So let's go ahead and create the, a variable. First digit, digit equals... Um, uh, we'll just do n times n times n and we are going to minus the n minus 1 cool and so that is going to give us the first digit now we're just going to have to add it to um, the first digit plus equals uh, how many times n is of odd numbers so while uh, let's have a counter so that count equals and we'll start off at one um, because we have fir first digit already contains uh, that first digit which counts and so while count is less than n I believe that is what we're looking for uh, while it's less than n and we're going to have to increment it eventually so we'll just make sure we don't forget that there um, what we're going to do is first if if first digit um, mod 2 does not equal to 0 so if it's an odd number um, we are going to uh, first digit or no count um, hmm, let's do this Let's modify the first digit, let that one increment up, and let's have a, another variable that is the answer. We'll just have it zero. We'll have count start at zero, and uh, we will do answer. And we'll, I'm just going to do that. And a plus equal first digit. And Regardless of whether it was an odd number or even number, first digit needs to be incremented. And at this point, we could return end. And so let's walk through this real quickly. If we start at, say we, let's give ourselves this example of 2. And so if the n is 2, we have n squared as 4 minus 1, so 3. We know 3 is our first number. Great, that is our first number, and so ans answer is zero for now, count is at zero. And so what will happen is, first of all, we're gonna go in here, and we're gonna see, okay, is that first digit uh, an odd number? And that's what this represents here, this if conditional. And yes, uh, the three is an odd number, so we're, we're gonna add that to the answer, and we're gonna increment the count. So now, we took care of one count, and so, we're going to increase the first digit. So now it represents a four. And so once we're in here, count one is less than two. Um, okay, and so is it an odd number? No, it's an even number because the n right now is at four. And so we will, uh, we'll, we won't increment the count, but we will increment first digit so we could keep on getting to an odd number if we are at an even number. And so now count is still one, uh, because we only added to the answer once, which was the 3. And so 1 is still less than n, and now the first digit represents a 5, 
And so is 5 an odd number? Yes. So answer will plus equal 5, which takes answer to 8. And now count is at a 2. And so first digit uh, goes from 5 to 6. But now when we go up here on the while, uh, for the while loop and we look at the conditional, count is 2, n is 2. And so this will not run again. And we will simply return the answer, which will be the 8. And I believe, um, I don't think there's any weird cases here. It's just odd numbers going up. And so I'm pretty confident about this guy. Cool. And we pass all the tests. I'm pretty confident when we submit it, it will pass. And so, um, yeah, if you enjoyed that, if that helped, be sure to check out some, my other playlist of level 7 questions. Um, I also have level 6 and 5. And be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. That was some of odd numbers.